What if I told you that you can get to rep 50 in about three to four hours? Well, it's possible, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. Let's go. Real quick before I get into the video, I wanna mention that we've got a Militia Gaming Co. website. That's where I have all of my best guides, all of the guides about rep and money and escaping cops and driving faster. And also if you're looking for all of my builds, they're all linked there at the Militia Gaming Co. website. So militiagamingco.com. All right, let's get into this method. So just up front, I wanna be completely honest with you guys. This method is not easy. It's not something that you're just gonna be able to do no matter what skill level you have. This is definitely gonna take some driving skill. It's definitely gonna take some skill to get away from the cops. But this method for gaining rep is exactly the method that every single speedrunner uses in their speed runs for Need for Speed Heat. And they've completed the game, the whole campaign, in under two hours. So this is the fastest way to gain rep in the game, 100%. So anyway, let's get into the method because it's kind of lengthy. It's a little bit dense. You may have to watch the video a couple of times. This method is for people who have reached level 11. So you have to get to rep level 11 first before this even works. The reason you need to get to 11 is that this method is centered around drift trials, which unlock at rep level 11. But once you unlock this, you can use this method all the way from rep 11 all the way to 50 if you want. Now it's gonna be a little bit boring cause it's literally the same thing over and over and over again, but you can definitely do it and I think you can do it in about three to four hours. So first, let's start with the builds. So you're either driving the 180SX, the BMW or the Mustang at the very beginning of the game. The Mustang in this method is by far the easiest and the best way to do it. But if you have the other two cars, you can still do it. So let's look at the builds. All you need for the Mustang is the pro drift differential. That's it. Everything else can just be completely stock. That's how I recorded my clips for this video. The Mustang was completely stock and I added the pro drift differential. For the BMW, you're gonna need a few things, which means you're gonna need to save up a little bit of money before you get to rep level 11. And you need the pro speed cross suspension, the pro drift tires, and the pro drift differential. All of those things should be unlocked at rep level 11, but you're gonna need the money to do it. So you probably have to do some day races to get the money to buy those three parts. But everything else can just be whatever you've got on the car. It doesn't really matter. Now, for the 180SX, you really only need the Pro Drift Differential, just like the Mustang. But if you want to make life a little bit easier, you can get the Pro Speed Cross Suspension and the Pro Drift Tires. If you add those two parts, it becomes a little bit easier. Although I will be honest, the BMW and the 180SX are not great drift cars. They don't score very high. And so it makes it difficult. You really have to work it to get the scores to gain the rep that you need in this method. And like I said, the rest of the build really doesn't matter so long as you have those parts equipped. And you can just maximize your power output. You can put whatever engine parts you want, whatever turbo you want, whatever NOS, it doesn't matter. Just those parts that I mentioned for each of those cars, you need to have. Okay, the last bit you need to do is make sure your steering sensitivity is all the way to the right. It's all the way up. And your downforce is all the way to the left all the way down. Then head to the Brotherhood Drive Drift Trial, which is right here on the map. It's all the way to the right of the map. It's right kind of under these freeways. You will then just repeat this drift trial over and over again to get as much rep as you want in that night and then head back to the garage. Like that's the method in a nutshell. However, there are some little details that I'm gonna give you. It's gonna help you along the way. This little pocket on the map, this little trailer park, you will not get any Corvette cops, helicopters, or rhinos as long as you stay within the trailer park. The second you get close to the main road, all of those other things can and will spawn if you have heat on you. And if they do spawn, it's basically a death sentence. You're gonna get caught. It's almost impossible to get away from those guys because you have a very low level car that is set up for drifting and it's not set up for racing or getting away from cops. So it's gonna be difficult. So make sure you stay away from the main roads. Even when the cops show up, 
don't go to the main roads until you clear your cops, you get rid of your cops. In order to escape the two Crown Vic cops, and sometimes three, that you will eventually get, you can drive close to the water, or if you have enough vehicle health, you can have them follow you into the water. Just make sure they're close enough to you to actually follow you in. So you're gonna need near full health when you're doing this, or you might crash your car out and lose your rep. So make sure you've got near full health and then get them on your bumper and drive them straight into the water. They will follow you in there and crash out. So that's one way to get rid of them. Once you've gotten rid of them, you can either go back to the method or head back to the garage. Repair kits are really nice for that method, but they aren't unlocked until rep level 23. So you can easily get to rep level 23 in just a couple of nights out of the garage, but it can be done in one night from rep 11 to 23. You can do that in one night if you feel really comfortable with your ability to get away from the cops and head back to the garage safely. Also, you can listen for the cops on the radios. They will say something like, get out there and find him. And as soon as you hear that, you need to hide behind this back building and stay out of sight of the cops coming in. If they never see you coming in, they won't be attached to you and they will eventually say over the radio something like, I'm calling it off which means all of the cops will go back to their normal patrol routes and they won't be looking for you in that trailer park. And when that happens, you can just go back to drifting or if you wanna escape and go back to the garage and bank, you can do that as well. Now what's crazy is I was planning on doing this for this clip, but as you can see from the mini map, this cop actually just drives himself into the water for some reason. And sometimes that can happen, but it's super lucky and it doesn't really happen that often but it can and I just got lucky for the clip. Another tip is I recommend taking advantage of not having any cops on you once you have a heat five multiplier. So what I mean by that is as long as you have no cops and your heat says five at the top, go back to the garage because if the longer you're out in the night with a heat five multiplier, the more likely it is that they're gonna send the cops looking for you again and you're gonna have to hide behind that building and sometimes that doesn't work especially with heat five. And so if you have heat five with no cops on you, go bank your rep and come back. Now let's talk about how long this is actually gonna take you because in the beginning of the video, I talked about it being three to four hours. But in reality, if we do the math, okay, to get from rep level 11 to level 50, you need 3,112,700 rep. Okay, now this drift trial will give you 26,400 rep every single minute. That's every 60 seconds of real time, you can get 26,400 reps. So if we do the math, that translates to 118 minutes. And that's just under two hours. But let me be honest with you, this is not going to happen. You're not gonna get it in under two hours. There's all kinds of things that cause you to slow down. Sometimes the cops will come in and you have to hide or sometimes the cops will be on your tail and so you won't complete the drift and you won't get the three stars. You have to be getting the three stars every time you do this drift trial. Otherwise you're wasting time doing it and you're not getting the full potential rep that you could be getting. So you really wanna to try to get that and this is not gonna happen every time. So my rough estimate is going to be three to four hours. Now, keep in mind, I said you get 26,400 rep per minute. That means you're getting 8,800 rep every single time you three star this drift trial. Now I know in the beginning on the first couple of runs, you're gonna notice that it's not very much rep, but that rep will be multiplied at the garage by your heat level when you bank. I'm gonna say this again because I know people are gonna argue with me in the comments about this. The rep that you earn, even at the beginning of the night, when you have no heat, will be multiplied by whatever your heat level is when you enter the garage. So every time you run this drift trial, you're gonna be getting 8,800 rep as long as you bank with a heat five multiplier. Okay, so let's just recap because I know this is gonna be sort of a longer video and it's a little dense. It's recommended to use the Mustang, but if you have the other two cars, it'll still work. It's just gonna be a little more difficult. Make sure you put the parts on that I told you to and then go to Brotherhood Drive and just complete this drift trial at three stars as many times as you can. Then bank your rep without getting caught. You will gain so many rep levels so fast if you can do this. You don't have to get to heat five. Keep that in mind. If you're not good enough at driving away from the cops, just get to heat two or three 
and bank your rep and come back. You're still getting way more rep by doing this than any race on the map. And if you're a low level, you for sure are getting way more. Now, when you get to the higher levels, when you're past level, you know, let's say 25 or 30, you need to start getting your heat level to like four or five because otherwise it's not worth it. You There are races that are rewarding more rep than that. So try to get higher heat levels as your level progresses. And as your level progresses, you're going to have new parts. So you could build your car along the way, making it faster, making it easier to drift, making it easier to get away from the cops. So that's all part of this. You don't have to just stay out at night and use this crappy car the entire time. But it definitely helps you get started. So. If you guys have any questions about this method, you're welcome to send me a DM. I appreciate all the support on all the videos. It's been absolutely crazy this last month, so I really appreciate all the new viewers. And shout out to all of the Heat 5 members. I really appreciate you guys supporting me. If you wanna become a member of the channel, you'll be supporting me in a way that I can't even thank you enough. Our membership tiers are $5 and $10, and you get all kinds of cool perks. You get custom emotes that you can use in chat, a custom badge that goes by your name, and you get exclusive rights to certain members-only streams and members-only posts. So those are really valuable, and that's why we do these memberships. So again, thank you guys very much. Shout out to all the new subs. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.